Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Warren Kamanigo, and you're watching My Life Icons. Today's episode is beautiful because I have with me one of the most beautiful young beauty queens I have ever met. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome my fellow beauty queens, our reigning beauty queen Toledo, Miss Angel Jane Ruiz. Hi everyone! How are you tonight? Um, honestly, I feel excited, mixture of emotions, Jed, but a bit tired. Yeah, you can go from Cebu, but right now I'm just really excited to be here. Yes. Thank you very much. And your yes really means a lot because we will be celebrating our uh, Toledo City Fiesta. And we all know that when it comes to celebrations, we really have to celebrate it for uh, one week that's from not really for one week for two weeks from July 1 to 12 and part of the celebration of course I highlight in fact I should consider that is the coronation night in Toledo 2022 where you will be turning over the crown and of course the parade of independence the, the following day um, so you're of course part of it so this whole episode is actually part of the Toledo City Fiesta celebration for how did you feel when a stranger shouted you in Facebook and that stranger wants to interview you? <laughs> what was your initial reaction? Bring, let's go back to that day. Okay, so I felt shocked. I'm like, oh my God, is this happening? Like, I never had this kind of interview. So I was like, really shocked. I'm like, oh my God, this is happening. <laughs> and I don't know, it was just... I haven't, even now, it hasn't done to me na. I'm binibining Toledo na talaga. And honestly, I'm a bit honored lang siya. So happy na we're doing this interview. And here I am introducing to you all. Hi, everyone, again. And just overall excited. Uh, God knows, Miss Angel, God knows that I really wanted to go to Megadome to witness the annual pageant. But because of uh, pandemic restrictions, I wasn't lucky enough to actually get inside the the dome but of course there's tv there's technology so i was able to witness your uh victory still so just thanks uh thanks god still. so the next best thing that i thought i would do is to invite you at least to pacify myself for not being able to watch it live <laughs> um so speaking of your you know the, the anticipated turning over ceremony uh, what are your preparations now? What are the preparations you're actually uh, doing now for that particular Um, Honestly, I haven't been contacted regarding the turnover. That's why I, right now I'm just um, preparing myself mentally, emotionally because, oh my God, this is it. I'm turning over the crown to the next Bini Bini Toledo 2022 and I'm really excited for her, Rajat. But right now I just feel a bit sentimental even though I I'll keep the crown. It's just, it's so fast. You know, one year flies so fast, lang Jud. And as I know, I feel a bit emotional right now. I, I can't believe it to happen. But I'm just really glad whoever you are who's going to win Bini Bini Toledo 2022. I'm going to wish you all the best of luck for yes. you. But I believe this time the preparation is not really. That's stressful as before because now you have the crown. You just have to turn it over. <laughs> so not really that stressful, not anymore. Do you do you do you do things like uh, dieting and workout just to make sure that you still look your best the same way like you did last year? Do you do that or not really? Um, every day, like even before the pageant, I need to make sure that I um. Okay, like dieting, I don't really need to diet, just eat, you know, as we can because there's lots of restriction when you focus on dieting. Just love yourself, like that's like the most important thing, whether you're a candidate or not. You just need to embrace yourself, your body, your physical attribute because that's just who you are. But if you're a candidate, obviously you need to bring your best, you need to give your all because as a Bini Bini Toledo, it's more than just an image. As long as you have the compassion to serve your fellow Toledanos, I believe that's all that matters. 
that's the beauty and the power of pageants because they introduce women, young women, and of course, um, even mature women uh, to actually uh, inspire people to be their best. Not for any other reason, but for self happiness, for self fulfillment, of course, for wellness and for health. So that's very uh, great. I would like us to go back to the year when you joined. I know it was loaded with so many memorable experiences. Not really, I'm sure this interview could not really accommodate. But can you mention just a few highlights, few of the memorable things that happened during the pre pageant activity and the coronation? even after that um i believe like the best thing and during the duration of the pre-pageant was practicing for the production because in there was like able to bond with the candidates when we dance like we're able to have fun like we just forget like oh we're doing this for the pageant we're just doing there to dance i feel like that's the best part and basically bonding with the candidates you know it's not just about you a friendly competition, so the fierce competition where we bring each other down. We're just there to enjoy the pro the process and have fun. Yes, exactly. Since you mentioned about your fellow candidates, who are of course very dear to you, who is your favorite among them? I the gun. Oh my god. Um, the one I'm closest with is Erica, Fatima, and Razel. And Erica, because she's candidate number 21, and then candidate number 22, so we're always together. And whenever there's like break time, we always hang out with Razel and Fatima. But I'm also close with other candidates. Like, even after the pageant, I also invited them to fiesta in our place, like Garo Kimi, which is it. I'm just really enjoying with them. So, ah, so that's why you're closest to her because you somehow drew inspiration from each other during activities because you're actually next to her. Ah, okay. That's, yeah. that's, that's possible, of course. Which is your favorite segment in the coronation? The one that you really like to do? The segment which you really, really enjoy? <laughs> is it the swimsuit? The, uh, the segment I really enjoy. Answer yes. Actually, the evening gown. That actually the evening gown, I really enjoy evening gowns. I don't know why I love gowns. I'm so obsessed with gowns. Like that's like the time where I felt like a princess because I'm so fun with princesses and Barbies when I was young. And then when I wore that gown, like leaving the gym, like oh my god, I'm here. I'm just gonna give my all and show to the whole world like what I can do. To the to ladder, rather. Mm, yes, and of course that experience would not be possible without a group of people who actually, who actually um was with you, of course, uh, to be able to uh, make that experience really successful and victorious and satisfying for you. So, who are those people that you'd like to mention? First of all, my handler, Kerwin. I'm really grateful for helping me throughout the pre pageant. Thank you so, so much. And for my makeup artist during the screening, Elaine, and for the duration of the pageant, Duval. And also for Angel Montemayor, thank you so much. And for the gown, I cannot, I really love the gown. For the Sagala and the Coronation Night, Don Romanik Rawa, thank you so, so much. And his team, I really appreciate their efforts. Talaga. And like, without them, I don't think I'll even win this crown. I'm like really grateful for their support. Yeah. And as well as my family, without my family, like, I don't think na. I'll join the pageant in the first place because <laughs> it was my mom who pushed me to join this pageant. Yes. And of course, everyone who in one way or the other contributed to who you are right now. We cannot mention everyone, so uh, we're <laughs> sorry, but I know you're you're in the heart of, you know, Miss Angel. So thank you very much. Of course, your teachers, your classmates, everyone, your friends, they all, you know, did something to you, right? As a human being. So thank you also to them. Wow. Um, what, Angel, after you were crowned and during your reign, did, did something change in you, or have you do, you do you have new realizations about life, or did something did a perspective change, or what have you realized? Um, when I wore this crown, when they placed this crown in my head, I realized that now I have a responsibility to help my Toledanos more because it's not just a pageant like. 
when you're wearing the crown when you won the pageant it's like oh that's it you need to give service like that's what i did like after i used a portion of my prize money to create a community pantry and even after that during that that after that that we i gathered some donations to create um mga goods like we just taste mga corner there mga noche buena on ta we're supposed to give it before december but then when odette hit we only gave it like after christmas and but hopefully i enjoyed it to nila and i'm really sorry na for those so la kadawat cuz i'm doing my best jud not to give jud those na na kailangan especially here in my con barangay poblacion we also went to tutubod to give away cuz that's where nag live pod ako ang relatives on my mom's side and it's not the end yet there are still so at the end at the view especially when you are already done with your schooling and then you already have a job and you can maximize still you can still maximize your generous heart actually um what would be your advice to the new batch of candidates for Philippine Toledo any tips um uh how do you call this uh pep talk or what would you tell them Well, I have lots of advice, and I wish I knew this sooner. But before the I joined this pageant, um, first of all, um, read a lot of books like mga empowerment books, and if you're really into mga fiction books, mga inspiration books like Paulo Coelho or Harper Lee that can help you, um, open your eyes about the problems that's going on with this world. Like, be open-minded. And also prepare yourself. Like if you're late, too lazy to skincare before, learn how to. Skin care, Jud, and don't be too focused on your diet. Okay, don't do much. Na it will harm yourself in the process because you won't be able to give her all during the coronation night. Always take care of your body and also your mental health. First of all, because when you're not mentally prepared, you'll just lock in the coronation night, and it will just bring you down in the near future and just keep bringing up that moment and bond with the candidates they're there to help you support you they're not just only your competition they're your friends and they will become your sisters in that duration of the pre pageant and during those few minutes when you walk on that stage give your all and prove to the audience that you are worth bringing home the crown show to the whole world how confident you are Because it's just a few minutes, and don't let your nervousness get to you. So at the backstage, palang dance, enjoy the music, enjoy the night, enjoy the process. Because madara juna ni mo, and and last of all, kai pray to God because He's always there. He's the one who brings you to it. And if it's not for you, there's still next year. Ba. I like all the things that he said, especially the first one. You have to invest in stock knowledge because you cannot share what you don't have. You need to invest stock knowledge here so that you can answer as many possible questions as you can. So yeah, I agree with that actually. <laughs> if you can, if you stock knowledge, um, I'm sure you still remember your final question. But if you were one of the judges, what final question would you like to ask to a candidate? If I were the one of the judges for a pageant, I'm pretty sure like I'll ask something related to the candidates' advocacy because that's like how I'll know and how the people will know how dedicated they are to win this crown. Because a pageant is more than just like how you strut in the runway, how you answer the Q and A. It's about your compassion, willing to serve after you won that pageant, after you won that title, and if. I'm not familiar with the candidates, siguro, and like mga visitor, siguro ko or guest judge. I'll ask something related to how they can empower women or how they can empower their community. Yes, exactly. That's correct. So it's not just about physical fitness and external beauty, but more importantly, what they can do to be able to help the society or to be able to resolve. Uh, Social problems. That's another very important thing. Wow, nice, and that is of course a high caliber question. So, <laughs> really, really <laughs> okay. But what is your okay to answer this question? What is your um, uh, what is your dream advocacy? Um, my dream advocacy. Uh, I'm actually an aspiring entrepreneur. I really wanted to become a businesswoman. 
mm-hmm. in the near future. And I actually planned after I won this pageant, but unfortunately, I didn't do it. My plan was I wanted to make a refilling station where we refill mga condiments, um, basic necessities, commodities, like yeah, again, necessities, everyday things like soap, shampoo, and mga pasta, mga ganun ba, condiments. Wow. Then, yes, kanang refilling station, the word filling. So, we just need to bring a container and then refill it because right now, Earth needs to breathe. Even before this one, even before this became a trend this year, I already thought about it a um, few years back that one of the main problems that we're facing right now is plastic and it's from the commercialized product. So if we only have this kind of um, refilling station where we just need to go there and refill the things that we needed without excessive packaging, then maybe we can lessen our plastic. And I'm pretty sure the government has already been doing their best to um, lessen the plastic, such as banning the use of plastic itself and instead use eco bag or paper bag. But they're still commercialized products and they wanted to lessen that one, to focus on also that problem. And not only will that help, but also it's also affordable because you just need to get a um, minimum quantity that you need that you don't need to make it like a bundle or bag. It's just as long as you need that country. Yes, that's great. So, yeah. Of course, when you reuse and you recycle, upcycle something, that will reduce garbage and that will, that's a great deal, of course, in controlling our problems like climate change. Wow, perfection. <laughs> okay, I cannot afford to end this interview without asking you a particular uh, pageant backlash. A lot of people believe that pageants, especially the swimmer competition, is a form of exploiting women. So there is a um, proposal that the swimmer competition should be removed from the pageant segments. What is your position on that? Um, excuse me for being bold about this, but it's their problem. For those who think that swimwear is used for exploiting women, it's not. Like, swimwear has already been there. It's like deeper than tradition of pageantry with swimwear, um, gown and fun wear, the casual wear, it's already part of that. And it showcases that how the candidates really take care of their body well. Regardless of the flaws that we have, it's not just like how we look, it's how we confidently stride ourselves. So for those people, again, who have problems with that, I believe that it's time for you to change your perspective about it because it's not something bad. It's just like how you think. It's just like how you think, view the world negatively. And I believe that it's such a bad thing. And you should look for other views. Yeah. Yes, there are more, of course, more important problems to uh, resolve. <laughs> and more- yes, more important problems to address. And why focus on Zoomer when there's so much things that you can focus on? And I agree with you. For me, it's not expectation. It's really inspirational. It reminds women empowerment and it reminds uh, uh, in love for oneself. It's not about making someone insecure or making someone intimidated, but it's actually inspiring someone to, as much as possible in their own terms, really be fit for health reasons, not for any other reason. So, yes, I, I agree that swimmer should be part. It's a very strong and a powerful segment in any pageant so it should stay there because it has a wonderful message and if other people cannot get that then again it's like what you said well it's their problem so that's why <laughs> okay so you've been answering oh, that's heavy so before i end this interview i would like to uh facilitate a very light light-hearted portion it's of course uh, it's petty issues but um it's uh, it's a way of uh, getting you uh, better in a fun way. And you know what, Angel? I am um, dying to see you soon during your, just like what I told you, I've been given access to the preparations and all. So I I hope to see you during the rehearsal and during the coronation night. Of course, for my vlog, 
I'll be covering the coronation night. So we'll see each other in Mega Dome soon. I can't uh, wait to see you in the flash. Okay, so let's now come to the most lighthearted portion, but still important to get to know Jane better. Okay, so you just have to choose one. Okay, let's start. Pink or red? Pink. Black or white? Black. Orange or apple? Apple. Mestizo or Moreno? Mestizo. Dog or cat? Dog. English or Filipino? Um, English. Neutral colors or something colorful? Neutral colors. Uh, Wonder Woman or Darna? Darna. Desktop or laptop? Laptop. Facebook or Instagram? Facebook. Plastic or glass? Glass. Beauty or brains? Beauty. <laughs> yeah, but um, I feel like I need to explain like, the beauty <laughs> and brains lang. Okay, so yes. <laughs> um, because in beauty among God, we embrace ourselves. We're all beautiful. And we just need to accept that one. We just need to learn how to love ourselves. In brain, we need we need to learn. You know, knowledge is expandable. It can be interchanged. It can be, um, if we change the things that we learn every day, we learn new things. But in beauty, it stays with us. Exactly. That's why. It's on your point. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but either way, okay, because you have both. So don't you say it. <laughs> Sorry, because you have both, actually. So, um, thank you very much for the time. We and my subscribers, our viewers, your fans would truly appreciate this by the time I'll upload this in my channel. Um, I'll see you, of course, in the flesh during the rehearsals and during the coronation night. <laughs> and um, uh, one more thing. Uh, are you preparing for, um, how do you call this, uh, another pageant? Um, actually, uh... I'm planning for Bini Bini Cebu this year, but I'm not sure because I wanted to focus on my studies. I'm a civil engineering student first year, and I've heard from my seniors that it's going to be harder and it's like lack of time when in second year and higher years to come. That's why if I don't have a chance, maybe after I graduate, but this won't be the last time you'll see me in pageantry. Whenever you're ready, we're here to support you. <laughs> And we encourage you because you have, of course, what it takes. So thank you very much, Jane, and have a beautiful evening. I will see you soon. Bye. Yes, thank you. Again, bye.